obviously this has been a culmination of um, several weeks of, of conversations with uh, the governor, the Rhode Island Department of Health, um, the DEM, Janet Coit and her team. Um, so, you know, basically uh, the announcement was made. We've been, we've been obviously waiting until we knew what education looked like um, across the state before we were making any final decisions on what, how we're gonna be proceeding this fall. Um, unfortunately, I think in some cases, we still don't know what education looks like out, out in the state. Um, but I think that the uh, governor was ready to make um, some um, announcements today regarding school sports. And, uh, you know, again, a lot of what was driven uh, by that, those decisions were, were uh, guidance from the Rhode Department of Health and, and what's been related to, to those um, situations. So um, all, all along, I think, I, I think what I want to just mention again, and we've been reiterating this, is that we've had some guiding principles from our side, from the last week's side of what our plan was going to include. Um, number one, it was to ensure the health and safety of all student athletes. Uh, number two, it was to remain within all round Department of Health and Governor's guidelines and restrictions for school sports. Um, that was, uh, uh, again, something that came from our Principals Committee on Athletics, which is our governing body, um, that they were committed to uh, offering as many fall sports opportunities as, as was within, within the Governor's guidance. Um, three, which I think is very important uh, from our perspective, is to re-engage all high school student athletes as soon as possible for their social, emotional, and mental well-being. Um, to provide educational school-based athletic opportunities for participation in all sports, uh, to keep competition as local as possible within each sports classification, uh, to develop multiple return-to-play models to minimize the risk of a canceled season, and then finally to maintain flexibility to adjust to the uncertainty of the change in data and the health metrics as the school year progresses. So um, those were the governing, I mean, those were the guiding principles that, that we were using in, in all of our conversations with the governor and her team. Um, and the Department of Health. So obviously today, um, Governor Romano made the announcement that the following sports were approved uh, for team competition this fall with safety modifications in place. Uh, boys and girls cross country, girls tennis, sideline cheer, boys soccer, girls soccer, and field hockey. Um, unfortunately, you know, in accordance with the governor's guidelines, football and girls and unified volleyball um, were not approved for team competition this fall which consequently, as we said prior, um, the RAL will be adopting a four season model now in those three sports not approved to start in September. Uh, will be moved to that season three, which will be uh, between the winter and the spring season. Principals Committee on Athletics did vote yesterday um, to now move the start date of fall sports to Monday, September 21st. We had originally moved it um, from August 17th to September 14th, but now um, in light of uh, school opening on the 14th and many of our districts are gonna be doing some form of in-school learning, um, we felt it was prudent to move the start date to Monday, September 21st.